he's a unique phenomenon in American history, and it's sad for American history to be at the point where, where somebody as crass and as ugly as Donald Trump is, is president of the United States. Um, so he has certainly made that argument. America is in decline. Why? Because of immigrants. America is in decline because of trade with China. America is in decline because of nothing America did, but because of all these things other people have done to it, which I think is absurd and, 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 and quite sickening. So I view, as I said, I view Western civilization as a set of ideas. I welcome anybody who will adopt those ideas into what I consider Western civilization. I don't consider, I consider immigration as a, po a, a net positive. Again, we'll get to Muslim immigration to Europe because I think that's a special case. I, you know, I don't think it's, it's typical of immigration. I think America is a land of immigrants. I think America is an example of how you assimilate immigrants from all kinds of cultures, from all kinds of environments into a Western civilization, into a civilized culture, into a real culture. Um, now, <laughs> whether America has a real culture or not is an open question, I guess, but um, I don't consider immigration in America a problem. It, it, the problem, I think, today in America is there are not enough immigrants. Not, uh, in, in the United States, there's a massive shortage of, 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 of good people coming into the country. Um, so I, I, I don't consider immigration per se a threat. Again, I consider us the threat. It's the way we deal with the immigrants. So yes, it is a problem when Mexicans come to America and when they, they come to America to have a better life. They come to America because America's freer. They come to America because there's something about the American spirit that they want to adopt. And their kids go to school and at the school, the professors tell them, no, there's nothing special about America. America is actually awful. America is a horrible place. Mexico, California really belongs to Mexico. You should, you should be out in the streets advocating for returning California to Mexico. Really? They left Mexico to come to California for a reason. Because it's not Mexico. But they're taught by Americans, by us, that we are nothing. We are beneath nothing. Multiculturalism is not about the elevation of other cultures to our level. It's about the rejection of Western civilization as a good culture. Not only a good culture, the best culture in human history. No other culture of human beings flourished, lived longer, lived wealthier, lived happier, created more products, more art, more material wealth, more wealth of all sorts than in Western civilization. And yet we denounce it, particularly at our universities, particularly, at least my experience in America. So I don't blame the immigrant kid who's coming in, particularly the second generation, of, you know, of, of condemning the United States. I blame his professors who are teaching this and who are indoctrinating a whole generation in the inferiority of Western civilization. And I think to some extent, and Douglas mentions this in his book, to some extent the problem is, even with these Muslim immigrants, it's not so much that they are the problem. It's that when they come here, we don't expect them to live up to our standards. So why aren't we prosecuting them fully for female genital mutilation? Why aren't we expecting them to live up to our standards just in a, in a most basic level of just following the law? Um, and I think that's a big part of the problem is, is, is if we appear weak and if we don't expect them to live up to us, then yeah, the worst elements within them or or if not the worst element, the culture that they brought with them will sustain itself. If they're told, your culture is just as good, good as, us, as ours, then yeah, well, that's a problem. No, your culture is barbaric. Your culture is primitive. Your culture should die. You came here, adopt a better product, a better culture. If they were told that, then I don't believe immigration would be a problem, but they're not. So immigration's a massive problem, particularly because of this large immigration of Muslims. Now I will, I, you know, I've got some stuff I'd say about mass immigration, which I think is different than regular immigration, about importing people and paying them to come, which I think Europe has done through its welfare state. There's, so there's a lot about the fact that we're kind of at war with certain elements within the Islamic world, but we don't identify. So there's a lot to say about that topic, but. I don't think that what's killing Western civilization are immigrants, certainly not in America. What's killing America is Americans, the choices and decisions Americans have made, the, 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 the intellectuals primarily in America have made, and to blame it on the other, I think, is a, is, is a mistake.